Hello everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this will be a treat. This is uh, Green Man Brewing and they're out of Asheville, North Carolina. I was just down there a couple of weeks ago. I picked this bottle up on the way back from there. Uh, got it down at Best Way uh, in Greensboro. Uh, they have an awesome selection of beers there. You need to go by and see Roger and check out what they've got up here in the Greensboro area. They've got, they've got beers that total wine in Greensboro I don't even have. So... Uh, very nice selection for a little small uh, uh, mom and pop's grocery store, which is what it is. Uh, very nice selection. You need to check it out if you're in the vicinity. Uh, this is a double IPA. It says 9.9% .9 here. Let me see what's on the label. It says 9.3 on the label here. Uh, so there's no myth that this is Green Man's most impressive and sought after special offering. A mammoth double IPA that boasts four different hops. It's the one hop heads wait for. Like a cool rain after a long drought, this one will quench your desire for big flavor and balance. Meet the maker. So, uh, and it is sweating profusely here, guys. Uh, just got it out of the fridge about five minutes or so ago. Uh, I, I don't think they are dating their stuff, which is a no-no in my opinion, and it may cost them a great point at the end of the review, but they need, to, they need to date these kind of beers, guys. So we'll take a closer look at the bottle so we can find any kind of dating on it when we get done here, especially in this massive size that this bottle is. Uh, the commercial description is the same thing I just read off the bottle to you guys. Food pairings for this, since it's a double IPA, the cuisine is barbecued. It's used a pepper, peppery Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, and more pungent cheeses. And the meat for this is game and grilled meat and salmon. Uh, glass bar, snipped or tulip, uh, oversized wine glass. I got my uh, sovereign beer glass here. And uh, says it can be sellered because of the ABV, but you don't want to sell these beers, guys. You want to get them as fresh as you can. The hops are going to fade. A year from now, or a year from when the time it was put in the bottle, it's going to be way more maltier than they're intending you to have. So that's why the dating is so important on this style of beer, guys. So we'll take a closer look, like I said, when we come back with the final chug, see if we can find any kind of dating on the bottle. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. I don't have the IBUs listed here. Let me check here. No, I do not see any IBUs listed either on Rate Beer or Beer Advocate for this. So, uh, let's get the cap off of this one. And this is a big bottle. I mean, it is a great big bottle. 1.9 fluid ounces. So, it is a great big bottle. Definitely enough to share. Nice hiss coming out of that bottle. Big, brothy white head on this one. Very good looking beer in the glass. A good two and a half fingers of head on that pour. Over to the light, it has got a haze to it, guys. Uh, I can see the bulb through the, the small part of the glass down here, but up here it's very hazy. Very orange and tangerine in color. Good looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. Oh yes, wonderful aroma, pine, grapefruit, very fruity, uh, tropical, I'm getting oranges, uh, apricots, mango, tangerine, most of your typical uh, IPA or double IPA aromas, especially uh, uh, this is being an East Coast brewery doing a West Coast style, that's what I call it. 
nice pininess in there. Very wonderful aroma on this one, guys. So it's that time. Let's give it a taste. Let's get it on. Cheers. Very tasty. Nice tropical fruity notes in here. Very impressive. Nice slicing is leaving on the glass. Like I said, we were just down there at this brewery and sampled some of the stuff they had on draft. They didn't have this on draft, but we did. We did sample some stuff and. Uh, they do make some tasty beers down there, so. Well, let's sip on this for a while, before the other half another glass, or a glass, and uh, see where we end up on this one. Like I said, we'll take a look at the bottle, so we find any kind of dating on it when we come back. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left on this one. Been sipping on it probably about 35, 40 minutes. Very, very tasty beer. Those guys at Rainmaker do some awesome beers. Uh, you didn't actually see, uh, the brewery is kind of in an old small building. I don't know if, the, if that's the only place they're brewing at. Didn't see any bottles for sale while I was there. Uh, it, to me, it seemed like they would step up on their little, little marketing vein they got going on there. And there was a lot of people coming in and, and, and going the, the, about the three or four hours we were there. Uh, they need to have some of their stuff that's in the bottles available for people to buy there. And I didn't see any kind of coolers or, or any kind of bottles that are available to purchase. And basically everything there was uh, draft only. So they they need to have some kind of marketing guy go down uh, and uh, help them out with that. And do like the other breweries do, like Cigar City and some of the others where you can go in and buy some of these bottles uh, and take them with you. So, uh, and uh, looking for the date on this bottle, I didn't see anything, but I did... Uh, over here on this side, it says uh, the hops were Columbus, Simcoe, Citra, and Chinook. And it's got the IBUs listed here as 158, which is really high. That is a lot of hot bitterness to go with this beer. But it doesn't seem over bitterly in the, uh, in the taste. So, uh, very well done. And like I said, I looked at the bottle, and this is a huge bottle. Uh, there is no dating on here. And right here on the corner, it says the Rainmaker. It's not... A beer to be aged. Drink now and enjoy. Well, if that's how you feel, where's the damn date? Uh, how are you to know when you buy this beer how fresh it is? So, got a problem with that, guys. It's the Rainmaker uh, Green Man Brewing. Y'all need to have a dating machine, brothers. Uh, especially if you're going to produce this kind of beer and not be available to purchase at a brewery knowing that it's fresh and you're buying it at some beer store. You have no idea knowing how old the beer is. So, uh, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, very nice beer other than that, guys. Uh, I, I have no explanation why these uh, craft beer brewers produce IPAs, double IPAs, and low ABD beers and not date them. Uh, and when I go over to the U.S. beer list, which usually has all of the beers, if I go to Green Man, see if it's listed here in their site, I can get the tablet to work any day now. And Green Man Brewing is not even listed here. It's got Great Lakes, Great Northern, Green Flash, and Green Valley. Then goes to Great Sale. So Green Man Brewing is not even on this on the on this uh, website. So. <laughs> We're just taking our chances when we buy these at a beer store, guys, uh, since they're not dating their stuff. So, uh, uh, seemed like I got kind of lucky, and this dust tastes kind of fresh. I mean, but we have no idea. We have no idea. So, let's do the final chug on this one. Very nice beer. Evidently, I got lucky and got a fresh one. Cheers. Very much in the West Coast style to me. A lot of hops. Of course, Simcoe and Citra are two of my favorite hops. They really kick the beer up a notch as far as West Coast style to me. You get a lot of citrusy, orange, grapefruity, pineapple taste uh, with those hops. So, uh, very tasty. Very, very tasty. Two of my favorite hops. Uh, 
guys to me this is a so probably a nine beer in an eight bottle I would probably give this a, if it had a date on it somewhere I would probably give this a nine out of ten it's pretty damn tasty I enjoyed this one and the other half did too she's she immediately once she poured it in, she said, this is a very hoppy beer and of course with the IBUs the international bittering units being at 158 a lot of malt use a lot of bittering hops use to counteract that so big big beer with a very well done uh, brewing process so uh, they just need to step up to the plate and buy them a dating machine dating the case uh, or dating anything else other than each individual bottle especially when you get to the size bottle this is uh, probably a 750 milliliter it's definitely bigger than a 22 ouncer you need to have that information because nobody buys case quantities of this size beer normally normally unless you've got big deep pockets you're not going to buy a whole case of this size bottle so that's where I'm going to leave it as far as, as far as I'm concerned it's a great beer if you can get it fresh but they do need to step up to the plate uh, eight beer nine beer and an, and an eight bottle over to rate beer rate beer shows 98 overall and 90 in the style and beer advocate says 90 overall outstanding so if I was putting a numeric rating on this beer guys it would probably be around a 90 since I don't have the dating information on this bottle to go by so uh, definitely an A beer you need to pick it up and get your hands on this especially if you know it's a fresh bottle uh, without a date on it I don't know how we're going to know that as beer or uh, craft beer consumers so taking your chances without a date on a bottle like this I got lucky I got lucky so green man uh, come on step up to the plate guys uh, I know you're a small operation but you're producing this style of beer you need to have a dating machine and not date the cartons or the cases or, or however the case may be you need to date each individual bottle so we'll leave it at that guys if you've had this from green man this is the Rainmaker double IPA let me know what you think. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Just wish these guys would date their shit. Damn it. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.